now go through the nine steps. This is your blueprint, guys. Okay. So, the first step in this blueprint is to claim your divine destiny. You know there's a saying that you could achieve 10,000 things but if you don't achieve your purpose it will be as if you have achieved nothing. Um, which, you know, that's pretty disturbing. You could achieve 10,000 things but if you don't achieve your purpose, the reason you came here then you will be as if you have achieved nothing. And we all come with a purpose and it might be that our purpose is to, my purpose might be to foster one dog. That might be my purpose. But if I don't fulfill that purpose, it will be as if I have achieved nothing. However, if my purpose is to help bring peace and joy and happiness to the hearts of as many people as I possibly can and I foster 10,000 dogs, then it still will be as if I have achieved nothing. Yes, I've made a difference in the lives of 10,000 animals and it doesn't mean that my life wasn't meaningful but if I don't achieve my purpose, why I came here, then, oh, how, can, how can you say it, um, then I, mm, I don't want to say that I've lived for nothing because I've helped 10,000 dogs. But it's a bottom line is it's really, really important to get on your purpose and your mission. Let's just say it. We all come here with a purpose. We all have a reason for being here. We are all a part of this huge, enormous puzzle. And if we don't put our piece into that puzzle, then the puzzle isn't complete. So it's really important that we find our mission, we find our purpose. You know, we talk about passion and I'm a, I'm, Dr. Martini says that he, he doesn't use the word passion because passion, in fact, comes from, um, I think it comes from the, the Italian language and it actually means pain and I guess if you think of the passion of Christ, then yes, definitely it does relate to pain quite strongly. Um, passion means pain and suffering and that's if that's the literal translation, you know, I don't really buy into that because we give many different meanings to many words and we have adopted the word passion as our bliss, as our joy, as our meaning, our, our reason for living. It's something that if you're passionate about something, like I'm passionate about what I'm doing right now, you can tell by the way I deliver it. I'm very animated. If you could see me, my hands are going all over the place. I want to reach through the... Um, I want to reach through the, the screen to you and, and just hold you and try and get this information to you on a heart level so you really get it and understand it and live your life by it. Um, so that is, it's my mission. My mission is to help as many people as possible to understand the truth of who they truly are, their infinite power and potential, so they can live a life of peace and joy and happiness and, and satisfaction and safety and security and just live the life that they truly want to live and have everything that they want to have because you deserve it. You really deserve it. That is my mission. And we all have a different mission. You may have a similar mission, but you will deliver it in a different way. And there are so many different elements to this. I knew, I knew 20 years ago I was supposed to sing. I just didn't know that I was supposed to be a master sound healer. You know, there's a big difference to being an opera singer and singing in Covent Garden or at the Sydney Opera House, singing something Mozart wrote 200 years ago, to singing a language that comes from thousands of years ago that helps to heal thousands of people all around the planet. There's a really big difference there. So it might be that, and then again, another layer to this was me finding my vehicle, how I was going to deliver that. Yes, I could sing, I could, I could sing to my dogs, that sound healing, but is it really living my purpose? No, living my purpose is reaching as many people on the planet as possible to shift consciousness on a dramatic scale 
So we can move into a new way of being. We are moving on this planet into a new way of being, into a new existence. Eckhart Tolle said, if we don't evolve, we die. And we're pretty much, if we stay at this level of consciousness, we're going to prove that. We're going to make that come true. So my dream is to help people. I'm not alone. There's an army of people out there who are helping to shift consciousness. I'm just one. But I want to reach as many people as possible who are my audience, who resonate with me, to be able to shift their consciousness and then they can go and shift consciousness and then they can go and shift consciousness. There's this huge ripple effect that we have until everybody is living in a divine state of consciousness. Doesn't that sound nice? That's my mission. Your mission might be to, um, to be a parent to one of the next world leaders. Or it might be to be a parent to somebody who can't becomes an amazing doctor or an amazing healer. You know, it doesn't have to be your contribution to the world could be magnificent, but it doesn't have to be on a grand scale. Do you see? Um, if you prefer to be seen in a much smaller capacity, look, you could change one person's life and that changes the world. You don't have to change the world to change the world. But it's really important that you get on purpose and you need to have clarity. Another part of claiming your divine destiny is having absolute clarity around your vision. Everything, every great achiever has a vision. Nothing gets achieved without an idea, without a vision, without a why. This is your why. You must know your why. So um, it's a vision of the life that you want to lead, what you want to be doing, how you want, to, what you want it to look, how you want to be with. This is where your vision board comes in. And you need to update your vision board and your vision on a regular basis. And you need to live your life by that. What you do in your life needs to be taking you forward to that vision. Every single day you need to live it, breathe it, own it, know it. It needs to be a part of who you are. And it doesn't mean that you have to drive everything. When you have a vision, things will actually unfold. The universe will do 80% of the work. If you let it, if you delegate it, the universe will do the heavy lifting. You just have to be present. You have to know your vision. You have to keep moving forward in the direction of your vision, of your idea, of your goal, of the grandest vision that you know you can possibly be. So it's really, really important that you claim your divine destiny. Imagine waking up every morning being so excited about what you're about to do that day. Um, Steve Jobs said, I'm going to paraphrase because I can't remember the exact question, but he used to ask himself every day that if today was my last day on this planet, which rest in, you know, God rest his soul, he's unfortunately not with us anymore, but if today was my last day on the planet, would I do what I'm about to do today? If today was my last day on earth, would I do what I'm about to do today? And he said if the answer was no for too many days in a row, and I don't know how many was too many um, for him, but it would be different for you, then he knew something had to change. Imagine waking up every morning going, man, I can't wait to get into this day. Man, I can't wait to do what I do, what I love, living my bliss. That's the way to live life. No other way. Yeah, there'll be stuff that you don't want to do. There's always stuff that I don't want to do and I procrastinate about. That's part of life. But I align that with my ultimate goal, with what I want to achieve and then it's not so bad. So claiming your divine destiny is the, the first part of smashing your glass ceiling, of living your divine life. This is the first part of your blueprint. It's living a magical life. If you don't declare what you want, if you don't have clarity about what you want, then the universe can't orchestrate it for you. The universe will do your bidding. But if you don't give it a clear vision about what you want, you're never going to get it. It'll just give you 
you'll be creating by default, not by design. Most people on the planet are creating by default, not by design. And that's why they're complaining about their lives so much. They don't like what they're getting, but they're not telling the universe what they want. So they can't get what they want because they're not declaring it. Most people, I ask them what they want, they tell me what they don't want. Well, if you tell me what you don't want and that's what you're focused on, you're just going to get more of that because you get what you focus on. Does that make sense? If you're stating, I don't want this and I don't want this and I don't want this and I don't want this, where's your focus? Your focus is on all the things you don't want. You get what you focus on, so you're going to get more of what you don't want. Declare and define what you do want in absolute, 100%, no questions asked clarity. Doesn't mean you have to define every detail, doesn't mean it can't change slightly from time to time. But the other thing is if you completely keep turning your vision on its head and wanting something different, then you're never going to get it either because you don't give it enough time to manifest to actually become reality in your life. You need to focus on something for a while to get it. And if you don't know exactly what you want, then, um, then take a feeling. How do you want to feel? Do you want to feel safe, secure, joy, peace, bliss, happiness, compassion, understanding, love? Take what you want to feel and say, I want that. And then you will become more clear about what is going to give you that because the universe knows what's going to give you that. The, the mistake that most people make is, firstly, they don't declare what they want. Secondly, they say, well, everybody else wants a bigger house, a bigger car. They don't say this consciously, but everybody wants a, house, a bigger house, a bigger car, um, a world trip, um, and they take a generic vision of what they think will make them happy. They don't connect with their truth. They don't connect with their purpose. They don't connect with their mission. They just take the default um, the default of what they think will make them happy because it's what everybody else wants. Everybody's vision will be different. Nobody can have the same vision. That doesn't mean that wanting a bigger house and wanting a bigger car and wanting a world trip is wrong. Not by any stretch. They are wonderful, wonderful things to want. But they're not the whole picture. They're part of the picture. And they will actually not make you happy. Do you realise that the stuff that you want is not what will make you happy? You don't want the stuff that you want. You want the feeling that that will give you. And you know the greatest and most incredible feeling you have is a, is a feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction in your life. Nothing can replace that. I can testify to that. Absolutely. Nothing can replace that. Um, you can have all the stuff in the world. But if you don't have fulfillment and satisfaction, it will feel completely empty. And that is what so many people in the Western world are experiencing. Incredible emptiness. Why did the global financial crisis happen? Because people are st were still looking in the wrong place for their happiness. Because people were going, I'm not happy. Why am I not happy? I need more stuff. So the universe went, you want happiness? Get rid of your stuff. We created it. Because we're seeking happiness and the universe knows that we're looking for it in the wrong place. So the universe went, well, if you want happiness, then firstly, get rid of your stuff because your stuff is actually clouding, um, it, it's clouding your vision. You can't see where you're going to find happiness because you're so focused on your stuff. So I'm going to take away your stuff and then you can do what you really need to do to find happiness. Fulfillment, satisfaction, live your purpose, find your mission, live your destiny. Perfect example of this is um, fortunately in Australia, you know, we're riding pretty high compared to the rest of the world. We were, we did experience the financial crisis, but not anywhere near like the rest of the world did. We, we were incredibly blessed in that way. Um, it, there's a big advantage to be a, being a big island away from everybody else sometimes. Um, but a friend of mine who runs a great networking group called the Y Network and she has chapters in Brisbane and in Sydney at the moment. I think she's expanding to other cities. Um, but uh, it's a great networking group 
group, wonderful, wonderful people. Her name is Shah. And two years ago, when we had the floods here in Brisbane, she had businesses in she had a business in Brisbane CBD, which got completely flooded. She lost her entire business. Now she went almost went bankrupt. She was on the verge of bankruptcy, and she started this networking group called the Y Network. She's just bought a BMW. She's living an incredible lifestyle two years later, but she wasn't living her purpose. She wasn't living her mission. So the universe came in and took it away. She's now living her vision and her mission, and she couldn't be happier. And she knows that that particular event that almost destroyed her financially was actually the biggest blessing and the biggest gift that she could possibly have had. And that's the way you need to look at your challenges. Where's the blessing? Where's the gift? Where's the guidance? What's the universe trying to tell me? So you need to claim your divine, um, claim your divine destiny. And the, the way to do this is your vision boards. Write out what you are passionate about. Why, why do you want to achieve your dream? Define your vision clearly. What gives you joy? Ask questions like, what gives me joy? What's important to me? What inspires me? What a legacy do I want to leave? Have your visualizations. These are really, really important steps and the first step in achieving what you want to achieve. And But don't take the generic option of what everybody else wants. The other mistake people make is they think they have to have one or the other. We think we can't have our cake and eat it too. That's crap. You can have everything. You can have everything. You deserve to have everything. It's up to you to stand up and claim it. Um, don't settle for just what you think is possible. That's another mistake people make is they just settle for what they think is possible. Anything is possible. You if Don't be limited by what you see in your reality and think is possible for you. Don't be limited by that and don't get stuck in the how. So many people think I can't do it because I don't know how. You don't need to know the how and in fact how isn't your business. Your business is your why, your what, what do you want to achieve. And the universe will take care of the how. You will learn the how along the way. Yes, you have to take action. You have to take strategic action and strategic steps to get to where you want, but you won't know what to do five steps in advance. You can plan for it, but you won't know if that's actually the step that you need to take until you get there. You may be taken off in a completely different direction when you've taken the first three steps. So don't get stuck in a how, just get started. Um, so it's really, really important that you claim your divine destiny, clarity, vision, Know your purpose. Get on purpose. Okay, next is the power of your story. Okay, there's a few things to this as well. So many people get stuck in their story. They get stuck in the fact that they're not good enough, that it's not safe because of what's gone past. And they keep reliving their story and they keep retelling their story and they keep saying, I can't because... Something had happened all the way back. Or they just keep retelling about events to themselves and to others and they keep reliving it, which keeps them stuck. Don't get stuck in your story. Your story is incredibly powerful. Um, but you need to release yourself from being stuck in it. So the reason it's powerful is because it is your learning curve. Your story is your knowledge. It is your um, your wisdom. It is who you are. Your story is the things that you have lived that have contributed to you becoming who you are now. So you can be the person that you need to be to achieve what you want to achieve. Every single thing that has happened to you has made you who you are today. And that is a critical piece of you achieving what you want to achieve. You need to use all of that, all of your story, all of your history to actually move you forward and get unstuck. So it can keep you unstuck or it can be the thing that actually gets you unstuck because of your learning, because of your knowledge, because of what you've achieved. Once you take responsibility for where you are right now because of your history, and this is what I said right in the beginning, so I'm not going to labour on it, 
for taking responsibility for where you are because of your thoughts, your belief systems and your actions because they are what determine where you are right now, you can actually look at your story and go, okay, I got here because of these thoughts, these belief systems, these actions, then you can change it. All of a sudden you're empowered because you've looked at your story, you've seen what hasn't worked and now you can change your story and empower yourself to move forward. Forgive yourself for all of that. Big key, forgiveness. Forgive yourself, forgive anybody else who might have had a part in, um, in you not being able to get to where you want to be or you think or contributed to it. And they probably did but you attracted it because of your belief systems and because of your thoughts. It's all about the big picture and acknowledging your achievements. You know, so many of us, actually just about all of us, um, get so weighed down by what we haven't achieved, the failures that we've made and we forget to acknowledge all the incredible achievements that we have made. So one of the things that you can do with this is um, to feel empowered, to increase your self-esteem, which is so, so important, is go back and write down all of your achievements. Write down all of the things that you have achieved that have contributed to who you are right now, that have made you who you are today, that have created this incredib incredible body of knowledge within you that is, that is the, the key to your billions. Acknowledge all of that. And that will actually change the way you look at yourself. That's a terrific exercise. Go way back to as far back as you can remember. Write about the certificate that you got for English in grade one. Or the pat on the back that your teacher gave you that you remember. Write down all of that stuff. Create a huge list of all the things that you have achieved that way outweigh the stuff that you haven't. And live by that. So there's two things, achieving, acknowledging what you have achieved and then looking at your story, acknowledging it. It's, it can be painful because we don't want to look at where we are compared to where we want to be. We don't want to look at the things that we've done that have gotten us to where we are because it's painful. Disconnect from the emotion. Don't beat yourself up. Don't blame yourself. It is what it is. Just say, okay, well, this is why I'm here right now. How do I stop that and move forward? Okay, gosh, there is so much I can share with you that I'm missing on this because I don't have enough time. I could spend days on this and not have enough time, which is why um, in a little while when I share with you um, the opportunity that, um, that I'm going to share with you, you know, we go through all of this. In the program that I have for you, we go into, we dive into this in depth. We will do workshop exercises that actually helps you to put all these pieces together so you are missing nothing by the end of the program. So please stick around for that. Um, as I said, we are going to go over time, particularly because, yes, I talk too much. Secondly, um, because um, I had to stop for 20 minutes in the beginning because of that storm. But please stick around, it will be worth it. Okay, establishing your core values. I learnt this from Dr. D. Martini and man, was it an eye-opener. We always operate according to our core value systems and if you want wealth in your life and one of your core values isn't wealth, one of your top three core values isn't wealth, then unfortunately you're never going to achieve wealth. Not exactly. But um, if it's not somehow in your top core values, you're in trouble. And just as an example, I want to show you, I'm going to have to get out of this presentation again. I'm going to show you what my top core values are. When I figured out my top core values, this is what they were. 1 to 10. Love, health, family, consciousness, being on purpose, making a difference, honesty and integrity, healing, freedom, education. They were my top 10 core values. Where's wealth? This brought me to tears. It was a massive realisation. You know, for me, wealth was number 24. And I went, oh my God, I'm never going to be wealthy. I'm never going to be really, really, really wealthy. Um, but fortunately, there is a solution to this. And the solution is to align whatever you want with your top one of your top three core values or all of your top three core values. So when I aligned financial wealth 
with my top core value, love, because you know that if you love somebody, you if you love somebody unconditionally, you don't want to deny them anything. You want to be able to provide everything you can for them. True or true? So if you align yourself with love, if you love yourself unconditionally, then you will be wealthy because you won't want to deny yourself that. You'll want to have all that you can have. So money and love and love and money actually are perfectly aligned already. I just hadn't made the connection between money and love. And the thing is that when money was number 24 on my list, if I had had any conflict between any um, any incorrect conflict, because nothing can really conflict with anything else, but if I had any conflict between love and money or consciousness, you know, consciousness, spirituality, so many people have a conflict between money and spirituality, so if I had had any conflict between money and any of the other things that went before it, money and wealth is just not going to happen in my life. But by connecting and aligning love with money and money with love, look, I can spread my message far further when I have more money to leverage my mission, can't I? I can reach more people, I can use more resources, I can market myself better, I can have more people on my team to be able to get my, my message out to a lot more people. So it's perfectly aligned with love. How do I love people? I help them transform their lives. So if I have more money, I can help more people transform their lives. Perfect expression of love. But until I made that connection, and there are specific exercises that I will do with you in the program that will help you to make that connection, then I was pretty much really pushing it uphill. Okay, um, I hope that's really illustrated what I'm talking about with establishing your core values. Uh, let's get back into the presentation proper. Yes, we've talked about claiming your divine destiny and the power of your story and establishing your core values. Okay. Um, oh, that's the other thing. So many people, no, that's not what I want. So many people um, subordinate their core values to somebody else. So instead of um, living by their core values, they try and live by somebody else's. Now this is, do, you are doomed, if you do this, you are doomed to frustration, resentment, anger, destructive relationships. It's really, really important that you know your core values, you establish your core values and you live by your core values, not somebody else's. Imagine if we went into relationship and we, we worked out each other's core values and then we compared them, we worked out our own and the other person worked out theirs and we compared them and, and we went, my Lord, your core values are completely different to mine. Firstly, we would understand why they do the things that they do that we find so incredibly frustrating and don't understand because they're living by their core values. Secondly, we would know if we can actually live with that. We would understand and accept them for their core values. That's really important to understand and accept the person for their core values and not expect them to change their core values, nor they expect you to change yours. But then you may look at their core values and go, you know what, I can't live with that. Imagine if we did that right in the beginning of our relationships. We could save ourselves a whole lot of heartache and frustration and anxiety and money um, and tears. Uh, if we just... A lot, made sure that our core values were either in alignment or we could live with the core values the other person has. Simple. And then we wouldn't get so frustrated because we wouldn't see their behaviour and go, why are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense. You could see their behaviour and go, you know what, you're actually acting in accordance with your core values. I understand it and I accept it. So no, you can't just say, I understand it and I don't like it, so I'm just going to put up with it. You must learn to accept it. Really, really important that you do the core values exercises with any partner, present or future. Okay, tribal laws. We make an unconscious vow to obey the tribal laws of our family, the people who brought us up, uh, the people who are most influential in our lives. 
They have unspoken tribal laws about money, about relationships, about health, um, about spirituality. And when we're born, these are the conditions that we take on, these tribal laws, because we are completely reliant on our family for our survival. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't be here right now. So we um, take on their core values, firstly because they're obviously the only example that we have in our lives that's most influential. And secondly because we need to fit in with the tribe if we want to be nurtured, supported, loved and given all the things that we need to survive on the planet. Um, and these tribal laws are deeply, deeply bedded within our subconscious and we have fears about what's going to happen if we break away from those tribal laws, if we break the system. You know the things that we say, it's just the way we've always done it. Or you may not realise that that's what's holding you back because you don't even realise that there's another way to do things. You've just always done it that way because your family did it that way. Your belief, the belief systems that you're following are part of the tribal laws of that family. You, I'm, you know, you come from a blue collar background. So your family are all blue collar workers. You want to be a blue collar worker because that's what your tribe does. Stepping out of that actually risks rejection. It risks them abandoning you as part of their tribe. Now overcoming the fear of that is really important and it doesn't make it any less risky. Stepping out of doing th things differently to your family and disobeying those tribal laws will still risk them rejecting you. But the question is, do you want to live subordinating to those tribal laws that don't serve you? for the rest of your life for the sake of their approval or would you prefer to live your mission to live a life of fulfillment and satisfaction and joy and peace and all the things have all the things that you want in life and risk your family rejecting you and adopting a new family you know they say you can't choose your family but yeah initially I, I think everything is choice. Initially we choose our family because we want to learn certain lessons when we come into the planet and then if we don't like what we've chosen later on we have the power to choose again. Could that be painful? Maybe. What's more painful? Breaking away from those tribal laws and whatever is holding you back or um, staying stuck for the rest of your life, never living your purpose, never living a life of satisfaction, never having the life of your dreams. What's more painful, dying with your song inside of you or making sure that they're happy and that they accept you? Seriously? I know what I'd choose. Um, so, and the, the mistake that most people make here is that they don't even know what their tribal laws are. See, when you're in it, it's virtually impossible to see it. You're just doing it because you've always done it. You're doing it because they've always done it that way. So it's really recognising what those tribal laws are and being able to unpack all of that, unpack what the belief systems you adopted because of those tribal laws and then being able to do something about it. Once you can see it, you can do something about it. So that is the fourth critical part of this, um, this plan. And what we'll do during the program is we'll actually look very carefully at your tribal laws and how they're affecting your life and where you want to go. So the next part is becoming the observer. I won't spend too much time on this. It's um, pretty much living in a state of consciousness. Your actions uh, come from your belief systems. Okay, your belief systems determine your thoughts, your thoughts determine your feelings, your feelings determine your actions, your actions determine your results. Okay, so your belief systems are where it begins. But in order to, un to understand what those belief systems are so you can change them, you must, must, must um, look at become the observer in your life. What habits, you know that it's your habits that have created the life that you have right now. So what are those habits? Once you see the habits, you can change them. Once you see the habits, you can actually figure out the thoughts that made you do that in the first place. 
and you can change your thoughts, but you must know what they are first. So it's really important to become the observer in your life. Recognize your belief systems, thoughts, behaviors that are creating the results that you don't want. Everything is um, in, your con in your control when you become conscious. You can look at your habits and go, whoa, okay, now I see that habit, I'm not going to do that anymore. And it's a habit, so it might take a little while for you to not do that anymore because you're going to do it with unconscious competence. You're just going to do it automatically. But it's then changing those habits to become new habits and practicing those new habits all the time so then they become your unconscious competence. Success is a habit. Success for the successful becomes unconscious competence. But until you observe what you're doing incorrectly, you can't actually figure out what you need to do to change it so you can do it correctly. Um, the mistakes people make is that they think that it's all too hard. Oh my God, I have to be conscious of you know, everything that I do. No, you don't. You have 60,000 thoughts a day. You don't have to monitor every single one. That would be exhausting and pointless. But you can notice threads, threads of the different kinds of thoughts you're having. Do you have destructive thoughts about others? If you do, it could be the thing that's destroying your relationship. If you have destructive thoughts about your health, it could be the thing that's destroying your relationship. But once you observe, there will be a thread, there will be a theme that runs through your thoughts. What you need to do is, a, is notice the theme. Once you notice the theme, you can track it back to the belief system and change the belief system, which then changes everything. It just becomes a completely different scenario. Your life will look completely different. But it's really important that you become the observer in your life. And again, this takes practice. You might only be able to do this once a day to start with, but as you become more, conscious, un, more unconsciously competent, you'll automatically pick up things instantly. You'll go to do something and go, whoa, no wonder I've achieved these results. I've been doing this for the last 50 years or the last 20 years. I'm not going to do that anymore. You'll catch yourself more and more and more when you set the intention to become the observer. First thing you do in the morning when you get up, Set the intention, ask the question, what can I do differently today that I did yesterday to achieve different results? You'll see it. It'll become blatantly obvious what you're doing that is achieving the results that you have now that you need to change. Okay, hope that makes sense. Actually, I'm going to tune into you right now and see if you have any questions. We've got four steps to go, guys, so hang in there. I know this has been a long haul. I hope you found it really, really interesting and it's been worthwhile for you. Um, okay, let me just refresh my page so I can see if there's any more questions. I'm losing my voice. That serves me right, doesn't it? Um, as I said, I normally deliver this in six hours, so trying to deliver it in three was ambitious. And I want to give you as much value as absolutely possible. La la la. Active questions. What have we got here? So type in your questions if you have any. Give me feedback. Okay. Oh, no questions coming up there. There is a delay with this presentation, guys. Google. Um, Hangouts has a 20 second delay so um, if your question's not coming up now just yet don't panic it will come up later on and I will get to it okay but right now I better move on all right so that's pretty much the foundation that is the foundation for you being able to move yourself forward. Um, do all those steps make sense? Do you see how they all fit into the pieces of the puzzle? And if you do those five things, you are going to set an amazing foundation for you to move forward and achieve what you want to achieve in the future. Okay, so now the next step is to transmute, transform and transcend. 
This is where the EFT comes in. Remember I said that um, if your subconscious mind is not set for success, nothing you learn, nothing you know and nothing you do will make much of a difference. So now that you've uncovered the belief systems, the laws that you're doing, the habits that you're doing that are getting you the results that you don't want, now you can change those belief systems and that's when we use EFT and sound healing to actually shift those belief systems. The trick here is that most people don't even know what those belief systems are and they can be tricky to uncover. You know, like I, I, I've already told you the story, this is where I was going to tell you the story that I've already told you um, about my coach who pointed something out to me and then I went and did some digging and found out that I believed that I was so far beneath nothing I couldn't even see nothing. That's how low my internal self-esteem was. Now if somebody had told me that, I never would have believed it. They'd be like, are you serious? I'm a confident person. Internally, there was this belief system that was preventing me from playing the biggest game that I could possibly play. Shifting that really shifted my results. I started to play a much bigger game. Am I, am I on an upward trajectory? Absolutely. I want to be on world stages and that's where I'm headed. Um, it hasn't happened overnight. But I couldn't get anywhere until I uncovered and released that belief system through EFT and the power of sound. And then that completely shifted my vibration and completely shifted my results. Um, you know, there are... There are um, other ways that you can do this. So EFT and sound healing is my thing. There's other incredibly powerful tools that you can use. And if EFT and sound healing doesn't resonate with you, then you know go and find the tools that do to that that will transmute, transform, transcend those belief systems, those limiting decisions that the, that you've made that are stopping you from moving forward. Question your thoughts. The work by Byron Katie. If you want to, if you've never checked that out, go to the work t h e w o r k dot com and discover Byron Katie. She is incredible. The work she does is very, very simple and hugely transformational. Um, and she just questions your thoughts because your thoughts actually aren't true. They're belief systems that you've adopted from somebody else. Your thoughts aren't even yours. You're thinking the thoughts that somebody else put there. So all those thoughts about I'm not good enough, I don't know enough, um, I, it, it's not safe to be successful, it's not safe to be in a relationship, all this stuff, somebody else's thoughts. Put there by the events and circumstances and people in your life. Question your thoughts. And then I've already covered, ask yourself better questions. Ask yourself more empowering questions. I covered that right in the beginning, so I'm not going to go over that now. But the mistakes that people make is they don't actually get to the core of the problem, their core conditioning. They fluff around on top. Perfect example. Um, somebody just yesterday sent me a message saying, I've been doing your tapping on $20,000 and your sound healing on $20,000 for months and I'm not getting any results. Is it because of a block that I have? Okay, here's a really, really important point, guys. Um, with all the free stuff that I put out there, all the free EFT and the free sound healing and all that kind of stuff that's out there to help you shift it, they are actually guides to unlock whatever is stopping you from moving forward. Unless I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, um, or within a group environment, it's almost impossible, well it is impossible for me to know what your particular block is so I can shift it. The free stuff that I provide is to actually trigger you finding what's blocking you so you can shift it. That's number one. Number two is with that $20,000 um, tapping thing, and I'm going to redo it now because um, I thought I'd made this clear in the video, but that Video is not so you can sit there and tap and just have $20,000 deposited in your account. That video to help you attract $20,000 is so you can be open to the ideas, the inspiration, the vision that will help you to do the things that will create the $20,000. So you've got to do something after you've done the tapping. 
It's not just sit down and tap and wait for the $20,000 to come. It's what you do after that that is going to bring the $20,000 in. So once you've done the tapping, and she's done the tapping on the $20,000, but she either hasn't been open to the inspiration that's come to her or she hasn't taken any action on it. You need to look for the inspiration, then you need to do something with it. And it might be that you get inspired to do 20 things that bring in $1,000 each. It might be that you get inspired to do one thing that brings in $20,000. But do you see that um, it's the ongoing stuff that you do, the personal, ongoing personal development and then the action that you take on the inspiration that you get through that that makes all the difference. The mistake people make is they don't get to the core problem, the core conditioning and then they don't take action on that. And they give up when they don't get instant results. Fortunately for this woman, even though she's been doing it for months and she hasn't achieved, achieved the results that she wants, she's still doing it and she's still seeking. She sought me out on Facebook to ask me the question, why isn't it working for me? What can I do differently to change my results? And hopefully the answer I gave her helped her. Um, so transmute, transform, transcend. Very, very critical part. If you don't do this part, it ain't going to happen. Owning your brilliance. Oh my God. Do you know how unbelievably amazing you are? How talented, how unique, how much you have to offer the planet, how powerful, how much potential you have within you. You have infinite potential. Do you understand even a little bit what that means? You are brilliant beyond your wildest dreams. You are such an incredible shining light, but you need to take off the cover that you've put over yourself. You need to shift your self-esteem. Self-esteem is one of the most destructive things to us achieving what we want to achieve. So it's really important and the EFT and the sound healing will do that and in the program I will work with you on your self-esteem. The work that we will do during this program, it'll be constant EFT, constant sound healing. It'll be owning your brilliance and shifting all of those negative belief systems that are holding you back. That's what I actually do physically in the program. That's why this is such, and, and all of these things are so incredibly important, is to do these step by step. And I will hold you by the hand to help you to uncover the stuff that you're not seeing, that you can't see because you're in it right now. I will help, I will reflect back to you your brilliance so you can see it and you can own it. And it's not until you own it that you're going to step up and you're going to share it with the world. You must own it. And to do that, you need to drop those, those thoughts that you're not good enough. You have, you were born good enough. You were always good enough. Don't let anybody or anything else ever tell you any different. You are incredible, incredible, incredible. Do you know Jesus Christ, if you believe in Jesus Christ, he said, this and so much more you will do. He knew that we were capable of what he could do and so much more. But we put him on a pedestal and worshipped and it said, I am not worthy. That's not why he came. He came to show us our brilliance. He didn't come to tell us we're not good enough. He came to tell us that we are who he is. We came from the same source that he came from. And if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, then just know that you came from the most incredible, unlimited source. You are that source. You are that source. The source is everything. You are all that is. Write this down. Write this down right now. Get your pen and your paper. Write this down right now. I am the divine source. I am the divine source. I am consciousness. I am all that is. I am the divine source. I am consciousness. I am all that is. Put this on your wall, on your bathroom mirror, on your refrigerator. Etch it into the corners of your mind. Say it over and over and over and over and over and over. Meditate on it until it is a part of your being. Because it is a part of your being. You're just denying it. That is who you are. You are the divine source. You are consciousness. You are all that is. 
And I don't know, maybe I've tipped you over the edge right now. Maybe you're so far in denial that you just think that I've just lost the plot because you can't own that. It is true. It is so true. That is that is your truth. And once you own that, once you know that, man, you will be unstoppable and you know what? You will want for nothing. If you know you are all that is and that you are separate from nothing, you, you can't want for anything. You'll just live in this bubble of bliss and happiness once you own it on all levels. So, so incredibly important, owning your brilliance. The mistakes that most people make is they overlook their gifts because they're easy. Remember the whole thing about going from um, unconscious incompetence to conscious competence? Um, unconscious competence, the thing is that the thing that stuff that you're brilliant at, the stuff that really is your gift comes really easily to you. So you don't own it, you don't acknowledge it, you don't, um, where am I trying to go with this? Um, you don't, um, you don't recognize it as your gift because it's easy. You are unconsciously competent at it. It comes easily to you, so you don't give it any value. But there's that. That's where the value lies, in your unconscious competence. Your gift lies in your unconscious competence. And what you are unconsciously competent at, what your gift is, mo a lot of other people will struggle with. So your gift to those people is to help them to be unconsciously competent. And you know how you do that? You have to unpack your unconscious competence. You have to figure out why it's so easy for you and how you can translate that to other people. That's where your brilliance is, but you're not valuing it because it comes so easily to you. How you find your mission and your purpose and your brilliance is by looking at what comes easily to you and what gives you joy and then unpacking that and then taking it to the world and helping others to be that. Or by providing services in that that other people find really hard because they don't want to do it because it's not part of their brilliance or their journey but they need that service. Does that make sense? If you're unconsciously competent in something, and it comes really easily to you, then you can provide a service for somebody else who finds it really hard because it's not part of what they're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing what you're unconsciously competent at. They're supposed to be doing something else that they're unconsciously competent at that you find really hard. But you can provide a service for them so they don't have to even do it. Make sense? Own your brilliance. Just get on with it. You know, just get on with it. I know, it's not that easy. We've made this journey quite difficult. Okay. Consistent daily action. I'm not even going to, to really labour on this. You know you have to do something every single day to achieve what you want to achieve and to get out of being stuck. Um, you know, the Great Wall of China didn't just appear. It took consistent daily action to build it. If you're not taking consistent daily action toward your goals and dreams, you're never going to get there. It has to be built and you have to build it. Do, write down every single day five things, five things that you can do. They don't have to be big things, but five things that you can do to get you closer to your goals and dreams. Just five. Write them down and then do them. Consistent daily action builds momentum. also builds belief in yourself. Because when you take consistent daily action, you will achieve goals along the way, and that will build belief in yourself to, that you can build, that you can achieve the bigger goals eventually. Um, so there's many different things that you need to do in order to get to where you want to be, and that's where I can help you to keep you accountable first. So you'll be turning up every week during the program, and I will hold you accountable to doing the things that you need to do to get to where you want to be. Accountability is huge for taking consistent daily action to achieving your goals and dreams. I'll also help you to identify what the 
Um, you know, we receive 80% of our results come from 20% of our, our actions. So I can help you identify what those 20% are so you can do more of those and you can get closer to your goals and dreams more quickly rather than wasting your time on the 80% that gets you virtually nowhere. But taking consistent daily action is really important. The mistake that most people make is they don't acknowledge what they've achieved each day so they don't get any satisfaction out of the things that they've done and then they just stop doing them because they don't see how those particular things that they've done are getting them closer to their goals each day. Then they stop doing them then they go nowhere. You must take consistent daily action. Next. Um, Letting go and let gratitude. You know, we all we're all familiar with the statement "let go and let God." I've turned it into "let go and let gratitude." Firstly, you need to let go of your attachment, perceptions, judgments, and expectations. What causes you pain and suffering and causes you not to go for your goals and dreams is that you expect diff you expect the outcome to be exactly what you want it to be, and it. 99% of the time, you are not going to get the outcome from your actions that you want, at least not straight away. Failure is an important part of you achieving your goals and dreams. It's inevitable. Failure is feedback. If you don't fail, you don't succeed. Simple equation. And But if you're attached to your outcome and if you keep looking at it going, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, and getting stuck in that's not what I wanted, that's not what I wanted, that's not what I wanted. You need to look at your result and go, okay, it's not what I wanted. So, what do I need to change to get to what I want? That is the inevitable process. You need to take action. Okay, firstly, you need to decide what you want. Most, most important, make a decision. Decide what you want. Then you need to take action toward your goal. Then you need to assess the outcome. Go, okay, if is that what I wanted? If it's not what I wanted, what can I do differently? So there's feedback. What can I do differently to get what I want? Adjust your approach, then take action. Okay, so make the decision, take action, assess the result, adjust your approach, take more action. But if you're stuck in your expectations and your judgments about where you are, about what you've achieved, about why it's not working, you're never going to get anywhere. So you need to let go of all of that and let go of your judgments about yourself, about others, about your achievements, just let go. That's where your suffering is, is in your expectations, your perceptions, your judgments and your attachment to the, your attachment to all your belief systems, your attachment to um, your events in your life, your attachment to um, what other people think of you, huge. Your attachment to what other people think of you is always going to hold you back. And then of course gratitude. We have heard over and over and over and how important gratitude is and oh my God is it ever a critical piece of the puzzle. If you're not living in gratitude, man you are selling yourself short and you are really making it hard for yourself. If you're stuck in, in the stuff that's going wrong in your life and you're not seeing all the things that you have to be grateful for because I don't care what life you have, you have a lot that you have to be grateful for. There is always so much to be grateful for. Get immersed in that. Stop looking at what's gone wrong in your life. Stop looking at and getting drawn into um, all the things that you don't have and be grateful for what you do have. It's a bit like um, if... Um, uh, if I give somebody a present and I've gone to a lot of trouble to go and find the perfect present for that person and I've wrapped it carefully and I feel, you know, I can't wait to give it to them because I put so much thought and effort into it and I think it's exactly what they want and I give that gift to that person and they open it up and they go, oh crap, I knew you were going to give me that, I really didn't want that. How's that going to make me feel? Am I going to want to give that person a gift next time? And if I do, out of a feeling of um, obligation, which is probably only going to be a feeling of obligation, rather than wanting to give them a present, am I really going to put that much thought and effort into it next time? Probably not. I'm probably going to wait till half an hour before I have to go and see them and go and find whatever I can find at the local store down the road, not even wrap it, just chuck it in a packet 
and give it to them and say, here you go. Well, the universe is the same. If you're grateful for all the good things that you have and you live from that space, then you are going to get bombarded with more things to be grateful for. It's just the way it works. So constantly, constantly, constantly look for being things to be grateful for. And when you put something out there and it comes to you, go, oh, thank you, universe. I'm asking for stuff constantly. You don't get if you don't ask. And I'm constantly asking the universe for stuff. I'm constantly asking for help. And But when I get it, I'm always so grateful. The other night, my husband and I, we lost something in the house and we really, really needed it. And um, you know, it was something that we didn't want to lose. Anyway, we searched for an hour and a half. We turned this place upside down. And I looked everywhere that I could think of that it could be. And it wasn't a big thing. It was only a little thing. And finally, it was so late. I was so tired. I just went, oh, I can't think of anywhere else it's going to be. I'm going to go to bed. And I lay in bed and I had I'd said to the universe before I got into bed, oh, please, 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 just help us find this. Please help us find this. Please just tell me where it is. And I lay in bed and I had a flash of inspiration that I'd already said to my husband, They're in a, I reckon it's in a pocket somewhere. I reckon we picked it up and put it, put it in a pocket. So I'd already had a little bit of inspiration. And as soon as my head hit the pillow, I went, they're in my track pants. I hadn't worn my track pants for a couple of weeks because it's getting really warm here and I don't need them. It's coming into our summer here in Australia. But um, uh, So I got out of bed in that moment. I went and I picked my track pants off of the top shelf and sure enough, they were in my track pants. I had um, stuck it in there three weeks earlier, I think, and they were still there. But immediately I went, oh, thank you, universe, because I knew if I hadn't found it, I would have been stewing over it overnight. I would have woken up early going, oh, my God, where is it? Then I could go to sleep and get a good night's sleep. And I was so incredibly grateful. That was just you know, such a blessing for me in that moment. But I remembered to say thank you. It's so important to say thank you. There are so many times. I say thank you hundreds of times a day for all the wonderful things in my life. And I get so much more to be grateful for every single day. I get so many blessings. And when you get into the habit of gratitude, you start to see the things. You start to see the blessings where you couldn't see them before. So there are blessings in your challenges. There are blessings in the things that have caused you pain. There are blessings in everything. But we fail to see them because we don't understand the power of gratitude and we don't understand that the universe is always, always, always giving us what we need in any particular moment. Because as I said, we are this incredible transmission station and the global financial crisis came because we are constantly putting out there, I want to be happy, I want to be happy, I want to be happy, I want to be happy. This is my take anyway. You may have a different belief about it, but I believe it's because I want to be happy. So the universe went, well, you're looking for it in the wrong place. I'll take away all that stuff where you're trying to find happiness and then maybe you'll look for it in the right place. Unfortunately, a lot of people didn't get it. They didn't get the message. It was a pretty big message, but they still didn't get it. What message is the universe trying to give you through the, through the situation, circumstances and people that are coming into your life? Where's the blessing? Where's the learning? What can you learn from your situation and your circumstances that is critical to you achieving what you want to achieve? Okay, that's it. That's my soapbox. That's most of the presentation. Now, and don't go away because don't forget I've got two things that you can do right now. Right at the end in about eight minutes time, you're going to... Um, get to hear two things that you can do about your wealth and all parts of your and your success in your life right now. They're really, really simple, but you know, they will change your life. Okay. But firstly, I hope you've received incredible value out of this. You can see that this is a very powerful system. And this system is not something that I just made up. It actually came from unpacking everything that I have learned and everything that I have done. Um, that has helped me to create this incredible life that I have and I'm not done yet. 
I'm still, um, there's always another level. My next level, as I said, is this beautiful property with my horses and my dogs and possibly a healing center as well. I'm not quite sure um, if, what I want to turn it into, but it's definitely going to be a place of transformation where people can come and they can transform their lives. Um, whether I turn into a full blown healing center yet, I'm not sure. However, I know that the property is coming. I know, I know, I know, I know. And it's building your knowing. Imagine just for a moment that you know that you are totally capable of achieving what you want to achieve and that it's actually waiting for you. If you know that, would you stop? Would you give up at any point? And you cannot fail until you stop. Failure is inevitable. Defeat is a choice. Yeah? You are going to fail along the way um, without question. It's going to happen. You're going to fail a lot more times than you succeed. It's a part of the process. Get over it. Get on with it. But defeat is a choice. You will only be defeated if you give up on the way to your goal. But if you know within you that you are worthy and deserving and capable and that your dream is waiting for you, it's already out there waiting for you, you'll be unstoppable. You'll never stop. You'll just keep taking the steps that you need to take, doing what you need to do, availing yourself of the resources that you need, um, getting the support that you need until you get there. It's like it's a no-brainer. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm pretty sure you can see that this is a very powerful system and if you do all these things, if you take this away right here, right now and you do all these things, you are going to achieve success, no question. But if you want to get there faster, then I have an option for you because it is a very, very elite number of people. And believe if you're here right now, look, the three-hour presentation's almost turned into four. So congratulations if you're still here. Thank you for still being with me. Um, it means I'm doing something right and you deserve to achieve everything that you want to achieve because you are around about 1% of the population. Seriously, you are about 1% of the population if, if you arrived and if you're still with me. The thing is, are you going to be the 1% of the 1%? Because I've scratched the surface here today. I could be here for the next 10 hours and still not give you everything that you need to be able to put this system together. And you have, the, you have the power to go out and discover it all for yourself. But if you want to do it faster, then I do have an opportunity for you to work with me. Um, look, oh, I'm not going to go through all of that. These are the seven most common blocks to success. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and I will cover all of those. But I have three months of intensive weekly breakthrough coaching sessions available for you and I have made this program so comprehensive. We will go step by step by step through every single one of these. Each and every step of the way we will do EFT and sound healing to help shift your belief systems, your vibration, whatever is holding you back. This will be the most intense journey of discovery and the most intense three months. This is not for the faint hearted guys. If you really want to accelerate you're going to have to dive in, you're going to uncover some stuff, you're going to feel some unpleasant things and experience some unpleasant things. This will be intense but it will be the most rewarding, probably the most rewarding thing that you're ever going to experience. Well maybe that's, that's probably a bit too far. Um, it will certainly be a very rewarding experience for you. You know, you see those people who put themselves through hell physically in achieving a gold medal or um, or winning a race or whatever, but that the the end result is incredibly incredibly rewarding. So it will be an incredibly intense journey, unpacking all of this, un unpacking your unconscious competence, claiming your divine destiny, getting on purpose, then going through all the stuff that you need to to shift those unconscious belief systems, those tribal laws, transmuting them into something, owning your brilliance, then taking consistent daily action 
and um, letting go and letting gratitude. So there's three months of that, three months, 12 weeks of being with me doing that stuff. You will master the strategies, tools and techniques to help to put your wealth and success into hyperdrive. So this isn't just three months. This isn't, um, you know, you're not going to do these three months and they're nothing. This is teaching you how to fish, guys. This is setting you up for success in every single area of your life for the rest of your life. You will be able to take this system and use it to achieve whatever you want to achieve for the rest of your life. Oh, I went too far. Go back, go back. Um, you're going to develop your own holistic wealth consciousness. So to have it all, to balance it, to breathe not to breathe but to be breathed, to ex to allow wealth to express itself through you, to allow health to live through you, in you, of you, to have relationships that are incredibly rewarding. That's holistic wealth. That's true wealth. You're going to be able to develop and live from that place. To uncover all the stuff that's holding you back, to build your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-confidence. Detach from your outcomes. Have unconditional happiness. The only reason we aren't happy is because we think we haven't got what we need. We actually do. We have it all. Learn to be happy now. Develop faith, belief and trust in yourself. Live from a place of inspiration and overcome procrastination. Um, and so much more. You're going to get so much more than you ever believe possible out of this program. I, I'm just so excited about this. Um, some of the features and benefits. Um, loads of sound healing, getting clarity and certainty about your future, more rewarding relationships, connecting with like-minded people, expanding your consciousness and your awareness, borrowing benefits. Just quickly, the power of working with groups that one-on-one -on -one is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, I charge $1,000 a month to work with people one-on-one -on -one, and they must work with me for a minimum of three months because otherwise they're really not going to get what they need out of it. Some coaches will, char will, will make you work for them for at least 12 months unconditionally. Um, so borrowing, but in borrowing benefits, in working in a group, other people will actually talk about their blocks that you didn't even know you had. So when people talk about their belief systems or certain things that happen to them or emotions that they're having or tr struggles that they're having, it will trigger stuff within you that you didn't even realize was a problem. And this is the great thing about coming together in a group. Everything that everybody else works on will have a thread that pertains to something in you. And we'll be working in a group a environment where I'll be working with different people at different times and we will all be working on that particular thing at the same time. And even if it's not completely something that's within you, there will be a thread that either triggers something in you or releases something in you that you didn't even realize was there. So other people's stuff will trigger you. That's the thing about borrowing benefits and working in a group. I have experienced this many, many times um, and it's so powerful working in the, in the presence of a group. And of course, developing that attitude of gratitude. The bonuses that you'll get. Firstly, you will get four one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. Um, and this, as I said, that's value of $1,000. I work with people on a month-to-month -month basis and it costs them 1000 bucks. Um, but you will get four one-on-one -on -one sessions for $1,000 during this program. You will get also get, after the three months of working with me, you will get another three months membership to my inner circle. That's $497 a month. So that's $1,491 worth of value that you are going to get as a bonus. You don't have to pay for it. So that's virtually six months of mentoring and coaching and healing with me. You will also get, I did an interview with somebody called um, Scott Juna who's called The Unlikely Ad Man. He's a copywriter, a great copywriter. And we did six interviews on copywriting. I did these with him on how to be a really great copywriter. And if you don't understand the value of being able to do really great copy, you know, what a lot of healers don't understand is that their gift is not the end of the story. If you want to earn great money, you have to learn to market yourself. And copywriting is an invaluable skill.
So, um, you know, the value of these six interviews, and they're about 45 minutes to an hour long, each of them, is $497. And they will give you everything that you need to become a great copywriter and to be able to market yourself on paper. Really, really, really important skill to unlocking a fortune, to unlocking your billions. Please don't underestimate how valuable that course is. So you'll get that bonus. You'll be able to connect on the Facebook support group the Power and Prosperity, because this is a Power and Prosperity program, I'll have an exclusive Power and Prosperity Facebook support group and I will be on there on a daily basis answering questions. You'll also get support from the rest of the people within the group. You'll get to um, share your um, your um, the, the things that have happened for you that are really, really good. So to share your successes. I'm sorry, I'm just having a mind blow out because um, <laughs> because I've been talking for four hours. Um, so you'll get to be supported on that group. So you'll get support there almost 24-7. Whoever is on the group at the time will be able to support you. And as I said, I will be on there on a daily basis answering your questions. So you'll get support from me every day, pretty much. Um, last year I did this. It was an international summit on marketing and mindset with international experts. 14 interviews included in this package that are all about marketing and mindset on things like um, I had Kurik Ashley on there who is a mindset expert. I had um, Chris Farrell who has been voted the number one internet marketing expert in the world for three years in a row. I had Joe Barnes. Um, the Facebook Queen. I had Casey Zeman, who's into YouTube. Incredibly powerful way to market yourself. Uh, so you will get all of those recordings. Lots of how-tos on mindset and marketing that are invaluable for your future. Now, in future, I'm going to be pricing this at $1,997. And I think even at that, it's a steal because this is literally going to set you up for success in your life. If you can hear that buzzing sound in the background, that's the sound of summer in Australia, that's crickets. Um, love it because that that's just means it's summer and it's hot and believe me, it's hot right now. We are heading for another storm this afternoon. Um, but you will not pay that today. You will not pay $1,997 today. For the first 20 people and for the first 20 people only, it is $997. I cannot express to you, I have never seen a, a package this comprehensive, never, that will cover everything to change your mindset, to change your future in the space of six months. Now I know that it can be tough, it's tough out there right now for a lot of people and that $997 could be a bit of a stretch so I'm going to give you some options. Firstly, you need to pay a deposit of $97. That is a refundable deposit because what I'm going to do is I will connect with you one on one. The $97 deposit is to, um, to make sure that you are committed to yourself and that you are really committed to moving forward and that you um, are interested, really, really seriously interested in taking part in this program. What I will do is once you've made your $97 deposit, I will actually, that will be your first um, your first um, uh, session with me, your first breakthrough session with me will happen once you've made the $97 deposit. Now, through, during that breakthrough if session, if you think that this program isn't for you, then I will just give you your money back. You don't have to pay anything else. That's it. Your initial investment is $97. So if you think you want into this program but you're not really sure, pay the $97 deposit have the session with me. If you then decide that it's not for you, I'll give you your 97 bucks back. I won't quibble. I will not argue. If, you don't, if you're not right for the program, you're not right for the program. If the program's not right for you, it's not right for you. I'm not going to argue with that. Give you your $97 back. No questions asked. Then you can either pay full payment of $900. You can pay three monthly installments of $347 or you can even stretch it out to six months and pay six monthly payments of $197. I cannot make it any fairer or easier for you than that. It's $997. Yes, granted, it'll be a bit more if you choose to pay in installments, 
but um, but what's this worth to you? What would, just imagine yourself in six months time. This program is going to start in two weeks. Imagine yourself in six months time, in June of 2014. You are living your mission and your purpose. You have achieved more than you ever dreamed possible, imaginable that you could achieve in six months. You get off the merry-go-round that you're on right now. How many webinars have you been to? How many workshops? How many seminars? What have you done with that? Has it gotten you to where you are? I would imagine if you're on this webinar right now, on this training right now, you aren't where you want to be. You haven't achieved what you want to achieve. There's something missing that you're not getting. What would it mean to you? How valuable would it be to you in six months' time to be off that merry-go-round, to be living the life that you really want to live, to be so far in front that you know you can't even remember what it was like when you were struggling? Because that's what it will be like in six months' time. I'm not saying that you're going to get rich overnight. I'm not saying that you're going to have the $10 million mansion in six months' time but you will be so much closer to it and you'll be living your bliss. You'll be living a life of fulfillment and satisfaction which is absolutely priceless. I cannot tell you how amazing that is. What an incredible feeling that is. And I will give you a 90 day full satisfaction money back guarantee. If you do the first three months of the program and you don't like it, I'll give you your money back and I still won't ask any questions. I do not want anybody, me to be the source of anybody's dissatisfaction. Okay? I want everybody to be really, really happy with their investment. This is an investment. This is an investment in you and your future and your family's future. It's an investment in you living the life that you want to live. And if you are not happy after 90 days, I will absolutely give you your money back. I believe in this program, but I'm not right for everybody. And I do not want to be the source of anybody's resentment, anger, frustration. So there it is, guys. There is no risk to you. No risk whatsoever. So the next question for you is, I'm going to get to your questions in a minute, but I'm going to finish up now because you have been, if you're still with me, you're incredible, you're unbelievable, you're amazing. The action is the bridge between your inner, inner world and your outer world. What do you do with this? You, this could be just another webinar that doesn't make, or training that does not make any difference in your life whatsoever, or it could be the turning point. Remember I said every moment is a chance to reinvent yourself, to reinvent your life. This could be the turning point that you've been waiting for. But you need to do something with it. If you don't take action on it, nothing's ever going to happen. So if, you, if you've got one or two things out of this, just take those and take action on them. If you don't want the program, then that's fine. But the other thing is, go and find a mentor. Find a coach that resonates with you. If there's somebody else that you align with more than you align with me, then go and find them. Work with them. Immerse yourself in their stuff. Do whatever you can to, to get their mindset so you can achieve what you want to achieve and just take the action that you need to take and never, ever, ever, ever stop. Training and managing your own mind is the most important skill you will ever develop for your happiness and success. I got that from T. Harv Eker as well and it's true. And the fortune is always in the follow through. Um, you could go 99 steps toward your goal but if you don't take that last one, it ain't going to happen. You know what? Most people give up between 90 and 99. Most people stop when they're almost there. And this is the re another reason a coach and a mentor is so incredibly important is because a coach won't let you give up. They're going to drag you kicking and screaming to that finish line if they have to. They're going to support you and give you the guidance and the tools and the, the hand up and the kick in the bum when you need it that you need to to get to where you want to be. That's why personal trainers are in such demand is because people can't achieve their health goals on their own so they employ a personal trainer. 
That's why personal coaches are in such demand. And you know, in Australia, it's not such a big thing. We have a completely different mentality around success, and it ain't good. Um, coaches in the states are a, in a lot more demand because that people in the U.S. have a very different approach to success, and they will do whatever it takes to achieve what they want to achieve. But always, always, always follow through. And if not now, when? If you put it off now. When are you going to do it? Are you waiting for all your ducks to line up? It's never going to happen. Are you waiting for circumstances to be perfect? It's never going to happen. Are you still waiting for the money to be available? If you don't do something about making, changing your money mindset, that's never going to happen. Be resourceful. It's not about your resources. It's about your resourcefulness. What are the consequences of you not taking action? If you don't do something now, where are you going to be in six months? Are you going to be in the same desperate place that you are now if you are in a desperate place or the same place of dissatisfaction and being stuck as you are now? Probably. And I'm not saying you have to take action with me. But do something. Find a program that resonates with you and just do it. Stop. Give yourself permission. Give yourself permission and stop making excuses and playing the blame game and finding reasons not to. Okay, three questions to transform your life and then I'm going to go and answer your questions for you if you have any. Um, oh, I haven't told you where to go. <laughs> I haven't, I'll type it up in a minute. I'll type up where you can go to actually sign up for this program. Um, and as I said, it's only available to the first 20 people. Actually, I'll do that right now. So if you really, 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 really want this, then, or if you just want to find out more, then go to new slide. Look at this. We're live. Uh, www.consciouswealthinstitute.com forward slash smash. There you go. That is the website. So give you all the information and don't actually give you the, the ability to, to do something about it. Uh, and we'll bold it. There you go. Now you know we're live. Oh, that looks a bit odd. That's a bit hard to read, isn't it? I might have to just um, drop that down a fair bit and open that up a little bit. So there you go. That's the website, guys. Get rid of that. Um, www.consciouswealthinstitute.com forward slash smash. You have my email address. If you want to email me and ask me questions about the program, I will answer any that you have right now in a moment. God, you're amazing. If you're still here, we're in four hours. It's lunchtime and I'm starving, so I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. Um, Oh, wait a minute. We didn't go over the other three things, did we? So the first thing you can do, three key questions to transform your life. Do this every night, every, every, every night. With your gratitude practice, when you go to bed every night, um, write down five things that you were grateful for that day and write down five different things every day, okay? So just think about your day and write down five different things. That will change your mindset as far as gratitude is concerned. Then ask yourself these three key questions. What did I do great today? What did I do great today? Write that down. So you're acknowledging the things that you did well. Really good for your self-esteem and your self-confidence. How can I make it better? How can I make it better? And then by what percentage did I improve by since last time? So you only have to improve 1% from yesterday. If you do that every day for 365 days, you will have improved by 365%. In fact, you will have improved by a lot more than that because when you incre increase 1% or 1%, you've increased by more than 1%. Does that make sense? So it's like compound interest. If you increase 1% today on yesterday then and you, then you increase 1% on tomorrow, 1% tomorrow on today, then you're compounding and you will increase by over 
well over 365% within a year. Your life will be unrecognisable if you only increase by 1% today on yesterday and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. But the tricky and the thing is when you're doing this, when you're in this process, you're going to be increasing um, um, by way more than 1% most days. Some days you might do a 20% increase, some day you might do a 10 or a 5, but imagine if you do that every day for 365 days, you'll be a different person and your life will be so unrecognisable by the end of 365 days. And that is why so many coaches um, insist on you working with them for a year because they want you to achieve so much and you can really, I mean, I do three months and that's good but it's actually not the best but normally 12 months kind of scares people off which is why I say three months the thing is that once people have worked with me for three months they want to keep working with me anyway because they can see the value in it and they get so much out of those first three months that um, that they just they don't want to stop and they know that I'm a huge part of that so they want to keep working with me which is great it's great for me and it's great for them um, so they're the three questions that you can do to ask to transform your life every single night. Very simple, takes five minutes and then of course you need to actually do what you figured out you need to do to make it better. The other thing is, look, if you're sitting there right now going, oh my God, I so want to do this program but I can't afford it, firstly, stop saying I can't, start asking how can I and then when you ask that to yourself that question, Ask yourself, how can I make more money? How can I get that thousand dollars? How can I, and then write down three things you can do to bring in more money. Do that, oh it shouldn't be 90 days, sorry that should be 30 days. So write down three things you can do bring to, to bring in more money every day for the next 30 days and you'll end up with 90 things you can do. And then the critical part, take action. Take action, take action, take action. You don't have to take action on all 90, but you'll find there's inspiration that comes to you each and every day. And if you take action on just one of those things each day, oh my God, you will have more money than you can poke a stick at. And take action on more than one thing in a week because you want multiple streams of income. You don't just want one. You want multiple streams of income, right? But you need to take action on those things. And if you focus on the things that you can bring you more money, you will you will be in a completely different place. Um, uh, yeah, it just it will it will completely transform your life. Anyway, it's been a marathon. I am going to wrap it up now. Thank you so much for staying with me throughout this entire presentation. I do trust you got great value of it, out of it. Um, I'm just going to refresh this page of questions. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them now. Uh, there is the website for the program. Um, if you want more from me, if you want to work with me, if you want to know more about the program, um, go and sign up right now and um, I, you will get an email um, from me in the next week or so and like I said that $997 special is only available for the first 20 people. That is six months of ongoing mentoring, coaching and healing and I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, I wake up early every single morning, like three o'clock in the morning and um, I actually do get up and I do stuff at that hour of the morning because I find I am incredibly inspired at that time of day. So, um, and until this morning, because I was still working on my presentation until about five minutes <laughs> before I went to air, confession, but in the early hours of this morning, I had, um, up, up until the early hours of this morning, I was going to charge $1,997 for this program. I was. Seriously. It was um, a no-brainer for me. I knew how valuable the information was. Um, 
Okay, there's no questions coming through just yet. But um, six months of working with me, if you wanted to work with me six months one on one, it would cost you six grand. And, you know, you're getting a lot more in this program than some of the people who work with me one on one. So initially it was going to be $1,997 but I really wanted to make it a no brainer for you. So I gave, I, I dropped it down to $997 for the first 20 people to reward those who are action takers, to reward those who really are willing to step up and to own their brilliance and to live this magical life. Um, and who are ready to take action. And this program is not for people who are not willing to do the hard yards to step up and to take the action that they need to take. So if you're ready, if you really, really want this, then go over now and register. And as I said, it's a $97 refundable deposit. If you connect with me, and you still and you don't think it's for you, then I give you your money back and you don't proceed. If you have any doubts, pay the $97 and do the breakthrough session with me. You get a breakthrough. And if it's not for you, then um, I give you your money back and you've had a free breakthrough session. I cannot make it any more of a no-brainer for you guys, seriously, honestly. All right, well, there's no questions, which means that either you've all disappeared because I've talked for too long. Or, um, or I've given you so much information that you're probably in overwhelm anyway and you can't even begin to imagine what you might ask. So um, I'm just going to refresh the page once more. But look, I've got some great feedback here. Thank you so much for your incredible feedback. And thanks for being with me on this webinar. It's been just, I love doing this stuff. I really, really love doing this stuff. The um, I will post, I will edit the um, presentation this afternoon and post it for you to watch the replay anytime you want. So if you really did feel overwhelmed um, and um, and you want to watch it again to get the information, then it will be there for posterity for you. And you know because uh, so one in one session is four times in six months, yes. So you get one session immediately before we even start the program and then you get three other sessions at your choosing during the six months. So we'll schedule them when you think you need them most. So they won't be on my say-so, they will be when you feel you need them the most. Uh, so you get to decide when those sessions are, okay? Because I want you to get them um, at the time of your choosing because you'll know when you need them, right? Uh, so that's the only question I have at this stage. So there you go, that's it. I'm going, because unless there's any more questions coming through, I'm going to go and have something to eat because I'm absolutely starving and I'm really, really thirsty. <laughs> but I've loved being with you so much these last few hours. Um, and I was about to say that I'm actually going to do this, I've just decided I'm actually going to do this presentation again live because of the interruptions and I will schedule it as a four hour session next time because I just know that I can't do it in anything under that. Well done guys, huge commitment. Wherever you are, if you're, um, have a great night, a great day. A great, um, if, if I don't ever hear from you again, if you think this was an absolute load of rubbish and I'm off my tree, I get that sometimes, then I wish you a nice life. But um, I do hope to see you in our community at the Conscious Wealth Institute and um, I hope to connect with you in the program. Take care, have a great day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is where you are and bye for now.